lecture. So Neil Denari, I'm the director of SciArc. Um, about six years ago, I met uh, a Spanish architect whose name uh, I won't mention. And he, I met him in a, in a school of architecture where he was running a studio. And uh, we were chatting before the, the jury began, and he said, you know, all I tried to do was tell the students you can design the scheme in five minutes and spend the rest of the semester detailing. Okay. It reiterated a, a theme that, uh, not at that time, but later on, I recalled uh, a Swiss architect who I saw in school who said, you know, you just do the scheme in five minutes and you spend the rest of the time detailing. As far as I know, the premise of design doesn't happen in five or ten minutes. Um, I could be wrong, but detailing isn't the thing necessarily which uh, becomes the totality of the project, yet it, it became something uh, that was a position held by very good architects and esteemed architects, and ones who would call themselves modernists, who deal in program, function, circulation, uh, serve and serve spaces, open space versus closed space, all those sorts of themes in terms of plan organization that we know, uh, rigorousness of repetitive structural system, etc. That somehow um, the, the nature of reading a program uh, and understanding its inherent logic, which is uh, a, a deliberate sort of um, premise in, in architecture, obviously, that's uh, time-honored, um, that that somehow uh, um, takes on all of the kind of theoretical material uh, as being uh, complete in the building there uh, after just becomes a kind of issue of uh, beauty or the sublime um, composition of materials and so forth. Um, I think, and if you were here last week um, with uh, um, Roger Reba, and we were kind of talking about uh, Austrian viewpoints of American viewpoints and vice versa, uh, these positions of uh, making a scheme very, very clear and making it swift and efficient might be um, what American architects think about Spanish architects. It's all so simple. It's all so straightforward. They make elegant boxes. Um, the schemes are, are, are really, really clear, but where's the form of experimentation going on? Um, clearly, uh, I think a, a more sophisticated view of the work of Spanish architects um, needs to be uh, delivered here. But certainly the work of tonight's speaker, uh, Jose Mateo, um, for me, uh, moves well beyond, obviously, that sense of expediency with the nature of design, not only at the level of schema, form, uh, materials, but the kind of um, way in which uh, pragmatics, which they deal with very, very uh, skillfully, is transformed into a kind of theoretical material and a kind of poetic uh, material. And I I know having not witnessed firsthand these works, but through publications uh, quite closely, uh, that this is certainly one of the uh, great architects um, of his generation um, in Spain. As you probably know, Spain also uh, lost another architect from um, just a little bit uh, below uh, Mateo's uh, age in Enrique Marias last summer, and also just recently uh, the theorist and architect uh, Ignazi de Solemarias, two people who were very, very important to me in my own thinking, in my own work, and it represents certainly a loss for uh, uh, architecture culture. My introduction here is not to dramatize that loss, in fact, but in contrast to uh, remember and celebrate the, the young architects, um, such as Mateo, uh, whose work is, is inspiring and, and compelling. And uh, I think we're very, very fortunate to have him here tonight. Will you please help me welcome Jose Luis Teo.
Thank you very much uh, uh, for, for your kind and uh, words. Uh, I, I am, uh, to me, was also something very important that the loss of the two friends, uh, in a way, my feeling of uh, being alone in my city is uh, becoming more uh, strong without them. Uh, and also in relationship to what uh, uh, Neil Dinari has said, I think my work is in, uh, in, in direct confrontation in, uh, in, in, in between two realities. In one side, the, the idea and the fact that really the architectural uh, project is something connected with the world of the ideas. I mean, something connected with intellectual or, let's say, non-material uh, things. But the reality of the, archi of the architecture is something connected with ma the materiality of things. So in a way, in my work, I try to, to find and to look for and to be in this kind of precise border where the ideas transform, convert, are, trans are converted into real things, into material things, like a condens condensation from the atmosphere that has some kind of water into the into the air and in, in front of the of the. Of the, of the glass, they transform it into liquid, into water. This kind of alchemic uh, moment when ideas and, let's say, the atmosphere of things, of life, is transformed into something solid, is uh, the place that I would like to be uh, and I, uh, where I would like to work. The subject of this uh, conference today was connected to housing. And uh, even uh, I will try to show to you to several of uh, our recent projects on housing. Yes, uh, let's. Uh, uh, I, I would like to say some words in relationship to housing. Housing is connected to me uh, to several important questions. One, clearly, uh, a kind of question connected to protection. In, in fact, architecture is in general connected uh, from the former, from the archaic times connected to protection, to protect from uh, hostile uh, from the outside. And this is special and clearly seen in the housing and in the house, in the place of the house. So this idea of this subject of uh, to be protected uh, has many influential uh, points. One is the relationship between the inside and the outside. That is clearly different from other projects that's clearly different also from in different cultures. Another question connected to that uh, subject of protection is the relationship between the private and public. Uh, that is also very specific for, for the house, for the housing project. This is in one sense. And on the other sense, the housing, our housing projects, are always confronted with the contemporary city that uh, makes that the housing is something anonymous, uh, massive, uh, that has, let's say, less uh, effect on the, on the form. In a way, there are many, city, many cities that are shaped by the, this kind of homogeneity from housing. My city, for instance, Barcelona, is basically a city made by housing without any monument or, or little monument. No? And there are cities that uh, this kind of inf more informal, more let's say homogeneous, ordinary, ordinary thing is is the most uh, uh, is given the form and the shape of the city. This kind of ordinary vulgarity and uh, mass and repetition, uh, vulgar. There are things that are close connected to my ideas on my projects on uh, housing. Uh, I, I work in the European city, that means that I work in, the, in a dense city, and my project on housing are dealing also with the subject of density. So they are always or almost always connected to the fact that being in a small space with a high uh, dense uh, atmosphere. But I would like to start in this sense with my first project. Is a, I will uh, show to you recent uh, work and in relationship to that, uh, some other projects that are under, uh, we are designed, uh, designing now, 
and they are not for uh, uh, on housing, but uh, maybe they have some kind of uh, high hidden relationship on, on the other project, and also you could have another vision on my work that is a little bit, uh, of course, uh, it's normally a professional architect uh, connected to many other things. So, but basically, my lecture is going to to, to be done on the housing and the project we are designing, and some of the projects we are designing now. But uh, basically, they are not anymore on housing. The first project is uh, a housing uh, project uh, ended, finished now, in the, very recently, in Amsterdam. This is a project in the harbor of Amsterdam, in the site of urbanistical plan uh, made by Best Ach, uh, Adrian Hoise in the island uh, of Borneo, in the old island of Borneo. Uh, as, you, as you see, this is an industrial, it was an industrial uh, uh, sector full of uh, warehouses and, uh, and it was the place where the merchandising coming from Borneo the, and the Java and the Indonesia came and uh, there are artificial islands in the harbor that's so very near uh, from the center. So the, the whole area has been transformed in a housing district towards a very interesting pro uh, urban planning made by Adrian Hoyse of Bestag. Uh, that is uh, something like that. Is uh, they propose a, a typological, a, a, a typological approach, a very exciting typological approach. So they propose uh, to build high dense single houses. So to build, to build with, with a high density but uh, uh, single units, so uni uh, single family houses, attached single fam family houses. The site uh, on the other hand is, was fantastic, so it's a kind of massive thing, the whole thing, uh, with several uh, special buildings, uh, these three. They, 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 are already, they, they already built these two, this I don't remember, this. so it's built and the whole thing is almost finished. With projects with many other uh, architects, Dream uh, Mirai also did one here, exactly very near from uh, here, here, very small one. And I had a fantastic location at the end of the island here, here. So here also is a year of inside and outside uh, and uh, uh, protection and on the inside and, out, and outside and uh, public and private that I started to, to announce uh, something that I, I am really interested in. Uh, is close connected to this side. So this side is, uh, on the other hand, is really an artificial uh, one, but also co close connected to the natural forces. So it's basically water. It works surrounded by water and by air. And uh, in fact, your maximum surface is your cover. So you are really confronted as the sky, as a main reference, and, uh, and also to the to the water. These two, let's say horizontal lines, eh? when, you, when we, we see the, the question in, in section. So it's a water, air, and in between them, uh, a big horizontal thing. So that means the project had this kind of uh, special outside and, and natural connection to the, to the landscape, eh? to some, some kind of cosmical and primitive forces. Eh? Next, uh, the project is, is working, uh, it was designed in relationship to several to different layers, so different ideas, different like uh, always we must do. Uh, it, has, it, has, it has several ideas working together. One, the first idea I would like to show to you is something related to the functionality and the idea of, uh, of the house in, in a very functional and very direct way. So the building in the site is, uh, is a plot with 30 meters uh, wide and uh, 100 something long and so the, the whole thing has to be built you know, with holes into it in order to have air and, and lighting inside. So we built something like a, 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 the living room is in the first in the ground floor a little bit higher because we have a, a, an underground a, a, a half underground parking so we have a big horizontal uh, floor with the living areas. We have two, two kinds of housing, 
One is south, that is here, the sun is coming here, and the other is north, so the, the plot is divided into, into two subplots. Sub so, and the, the idea is, is having a kind of continuous uniform uh, uh, space uh, from living areas. From this uh, uh, continuous space, we built up like towers, uh, other constructions with uh, more specialized uh, parts of the building, like uh, bedrooms, no? bedrooms and uh, private uh, pieces. No? This is like one tower in one floor, one, one, another with two. So this, this, these three elements could even change and could even be different. I, I was thinking towers, I was talking in towers because they, they could be really uh, move one uh, uh, become bigger and uh, in relationship to the others. In between these kind of emergencies, we have the possibility of having the entrance of the light and the sun here, directly to the center of the house. And from the southern houses, we have a big balcony um, over the over the street, over the deck, uh, over the, the the ships. And from the northern houses, we, we provide uh, a, a real garden. Uh, into the first or the second floor. So it was a, a first model trying to show the idea and trying to test uh, the idea in relationship to our clients that were uh, private developers, private uh, Dutch developers. And we didn't, we didn't know how it was going to be with them, but at the end it, was, it happens fantastic and uh, they are a big, uh, large uh, Dutch company and we, we have many other, some other commissions with them. And uh, so on, uh, they were very uh, open and so on. And, uh, and so this is an idea of having this kind of uh, ground floor. In this case, one, one possibility having two, another floor here. This is the roof, the glass roof. This glass roof was thought at the beginning as something like a car, so you could even move in order to have really a, a kind of open space inside and move and close, like a, like a, really, like a car with a car technology. And the end was a more conservative, more heavy one. This a, a clear tendency, uh, it's a kind of, uh, like a small except uh, in housing for being uh, heavy and being strong. Uh, this idea of protection is more and more even present in the, so this class has become more strong and so, the, so you have this uh, house. Hmm? This is one idea, the, the idea of the functional division of the house. Uh, next. Yes, the other idea is connected to the volumetrical shape of the whole thing, something we can uh, <coughs> uh, imagine in relationship to the, to the form, so in a pure form, as, uh, not as a sculpture, but uh, without having any more other uh, questions. So for instance, this was a piece of, of something, of a solid, that we, we have to make some voids like in many, for instance, Chivida sculptures. Eh? Uh, there are horizontal ones when you dig the holes from the above, from the top, eh? like here. So we have a big horizontal piece, we must uh, dig the holes from above. This piece has to be some kind of, uh, of uh, rules, uh, in order to be a kind of unitarian piece. One rule, one is the rule of connection here, to be connected to the other one. Here you see, when we have just uh, one floor here, this is flat, and we move up, the, the whole thing is moving up inside. So when we adapt here, we made something really different into the top trying to open to the, to the, to the, to the hallway. And we make something like a center into the into the middle in order to, to have a figure that is not the repetition of something. It has not just an initial and an origin and the end, but something has a kind of center, has a kind of uh, unitarian and inside logic, uh, uh, more than just the addition and, and just more the, uh, uh, the uh, big, uh, starting and ending. This is also connected with this kind of bands. One is the band from the solid in the north uh, side. This is the glass courts. This is the gardens. These are the, the uh, this emergence into the middle. And this is also this kind of built. This is the glass, the glass courts, and the built with uh, something uh, more important here and here. So the top here is also in relationship to the continuity of the whole logic of the project. So the the, the facade, Adrian Hoyse was very interested in this facade to make it something very exuberant. And there are some other projects, one of Omar, one from the uh, young, uh, young uh, architects, uh, Dutch architects, 
but in some, in some cases are a little bit uh, too bizarre because they don't have enough energy to 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 define a front here yeah, I was very lucky because my very lucky because my plot was very long so I could imagine a kind of logic that ended at the, uh, uh, in the top not having a something really uh, inertial special just uh, trying to deal with the whole void in front of the building next the third question was uh, in the, in the, there is something really important also. The third question is connected to the to the to the construction and to the geometry somehow, eh? to the stick geometry that in this case the, the, the construction imposed to us. They said the, the press is building a system of, of walls in concrete walls, prefabricated ones, parallel with some changes in the change in, into the into the corner. And the houses is, has all the all the movements and services here, and uh, we have a, a, an empty space, big and living room here, with the, with the light here and here, and uh, uh, so it's, uh, all the services are just making like another wall, like a, a big wall, and this this uh, let's say very uh, very strict system. On the other hand, allows to us a, a big degree of, uh, of freedom. So, because this could be, for instance, the first floor is, is being something like that, but this is, is full. And when we, we uh, went up, next please, the whole thing is, is, is being transformed and transformed. So, into this kind of very strict uh, green. Next, in this terms of the. Of the uh, so. <coughs> We have something very important for the uh, project is, is the roof. The roof of the building, I said at the beginning, the, this building was confronted to the air, uh, to the air and to the water also, uh, as, as a main uh, uh, surface of uh, reference surface. The, the, the roof is, became a, really a, a landscape, a landscape and uh, the, the people from the houses use. So for instance, these are the, the houses, the northern houses, with the grass uh, garden and, the, and the, at the end the more classical um, glass uh, surface, you know, to have light inside, and uh, that's moving. That's moving. So this is uh, low. This is higher, and this is the, the southern houses that they could use. The, this, this is another glass uh, patio, and they could uh, come up and having a colonized portion of the of the of the roof. So the roof is becoming like like a, like a village in a way. No? Next is, a, is another is like a like a landscape with a animated landscape, a domestic landscape, having also the scale of a village, a very small scale with one floor, just one floor elements, no? and also with uh, connected in, a, in an upper position to the visions, to the more distant visions. But you are you are confronted here a kind of a domestic. Uh, uh, landscape. Next, the, in this sense, the, 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 the third question I was saying is it was connected to construction in many, many, many directions. One in a more abstract way, like uh, this kind of structural pattern, the rigidity of the structural pattern. The second, and, and in many, in the other direction, was a more, let's say, material uh, way of doing is is the facades. The facades are, are, we thought, also made uh, basically in wood and in brick, but basically, basically the most important material is wood. And then using wood, trying to, to, to imagine a facade that has a, a relationship between inside and outside, a little bit weak, weak not so strong like usually with windows and walls. Normally our window is like a cutting into the wall. Here the window appears or would appear like a like a let's say a continuity of the wall. So it's just a kind of osmosis from the from the inside, or it's a kind of, of permeability inside and outside, but just without having always uh, the necessity of, of, of building like a really a real hole. That is always a kind of dramatical uh, presence, a dramatical act for the for the essence of the wall. So for that doing it was quite complicated in, in, in terms of working. The, own, the owner and the client had also a, a big factory on wood. Uh, and the, we, we made, 
a fantastic, uh, a fantastic uh, working into the factory, trying to define with the engineers the logic of the whole thing. No? Like this is a monster one-to-one uh, -one from the one piece of one fragment of the facade. So you see the wood, so different uh, ways of the wood. The wood is not painted, is not had not, not uh, any finishing. Is a giant wood is going to become dark and black at the end. It's like a ship. But it was also this idea of wood next to the to the, to the water. It was a very let's say primitive and very uh, let's say naive but a normal idea, banal idea also or normal. And, and from this um, uh, work, uh, analyzing in the, into, the, into the factory the, the, the question, we decided to, to change this kind of pieces. So we have the wood like that, like shingles, like horizontal uh, pieces from the, that come directly from the, from the three. But when we, you work with the wood in this kind of sense, the wood becomes a little bit more, uh, let's say, rustic uh, and without any uh, power in a way, no? because it's becoming very big and, uh, and even it's not so easy to do in a technical way. So we change all these things, all these strange things, uh, four pieces in aluminium, in aluminium, molded aluminium, so the whole facade has a kind of continuity of wood, but with a kind of brilliant tension with the aluminium pieces. Next, please. So this is something like that, this is the south, fac the south facade, with it confronted to the ships, into the, into the the dock uh, the Amsterdam. The, the, this is brick. The brick is moving a little bit up in order to have some kind of light to the to the making like a podium to the to the parking areas. So this is the this kind of continuity of the of the pieces of, of wood and the presence sometimes of the aluminium as a new material that is brilliant and is making a kind of tension in between both and self solving so on other kind of problems. Next. So they, they have some kind of detailing. So for instance, this, this uh, hanged uh, um, balcony. So the balcony is, is quite big, it's two meters, but it's hanged without touching the, the earth. It's a kind of a special beam and so on. And this is a vision from the inside, these houses with uh, four meters, almost 15 meters long. And the big balcony is, is not uh, even made in this moment, and with the light coming uh, towards the court, inside the court. Next, please. The building has this kind of uh, connection here and connection uh, on ending there. Uh, these are all going to the to the entrance to this housing here. Next, and and here we, we see the the you know, uh, this one again, this one again. So we have this brick here, the brick in the in the floor, the brick here, next, next, and this brick that is moving up, is moving up here. Uh, next, just this one, just this one. Next. And so this is the corner with this kind of continuity from the inside, and the, this uh, the brick is moving up, moving up in the, making the, this kind of circle. Ne next, please. This is continuing, moving up, uh, making the north facade in order to be also to be connected to the, in a more bolder way to the north side. The north side is a, is a side more exposed to the wind and to the, not without sun and so on. And so it's very heavy, more heavier than the, the other side. And so there's a kind of continuity from the, the existing on the other project uh, here. And this again, of course, here an important expressive moment of the connection between the, 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 the wood and the brick as a, as a, as a, man, as a as, as, as a joint, uh, as a, as a joint, uh, the brick is transformed into into wood and, and so on. Next, and uh, some insights from this project also. Uh, the project has some kind of inside uh, attraction. It had the, it offers the roof as a, as a private landscape, but it offers some kind of private uh, outside the spaces like this uh, course from one house. And uh, like in the in the in the corner, the, the houses had a, a winter garden that is a space with uh, less uh, protected from the, from the winter. I mean, with two glasses, two normal glasses, one on the outside and the other here. So it's, it's what they call a winter garden. So you have the winter garden, this kind of special sun and ambition uh, possibilities, and having also the light coming from the court, from the glass court into the rear. Next. 
this project, uh, I want to just now in this sense, another building, also connected to this kind of natural and uh, landscape, uh, let's say, forces. This is also another house. This is a private house. Uh, it's not a collective one, but even for being a, a private one, could have a more extreme and more radical um, dialogue or relationship to the natural elements, to the, I mean, to the wind, to the sun, to the, to, to, to the water, to the air, to the, all these kind of um, cosmic and primitive uh, forces. This is in a, an island, uh, places into an island, and, uh, in, a, in a place with, almost without uh, very little construction, just in the, in the limit in between the water and the land and uh, in this kind of landscape, uh, rocky landscape with very little vegetation because it's a place that's got uh, uh, a strong uh, landscape uh, situation with a, with a north wind very cold, uh, very powerful uh, in several uh, portions of the year with uh, intense uh, sun, uh, also very powerful in, in uh, summer times, so it's almost 40 degrees and uh, with the, the sea that is in front of the house here, with a um, big, uh, and, uh, big storms, and, uh, and so on. So this kind of, of and this house, this, this house was thought in relationship to all these kind of uh, uh, energies. Next, the other one. <coughs> Not far away from this uh, house. Is, 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 is this archaeological site from the primitive uh, settlements on, from the island that offers a, a vision that I really like. This is uh, maybe 15 minutes by, by the sea, nearly from the sea to the, to the house, so it's very near. And it offers a vision of, of something that I really like, this kind of, of uh, working into, into the earth, so making like, like a something that is different from the from the from the earth from the existing from the nature but it's not so different on the other hand it's a kind of uh, irregularity on the on the earth uh, kind of digging and using the stones and so on and so on and these kind of things it's a kind of archaic trend into the to this kind of continuity uh, handmade uh, man-made and, uh, and uh, natural natural made well, this is something, but the, the house clearly is, is this conceptually is, is connected to this small model. I have to say I, I am more and more uh, using very small models, you know, very solid ones like this one, and uh, after transforming it into a bigger, but the, the everything I started is something like that, a very s small, uh, like a nucleus, uh, very small and massive thing. In this uh, sense, this is like uh, this kind of chromes from the Rodchenko, I think, the Rodchenko constructivist, that made this kind of a small object, this, an object like that, from this kind of family mm, of size and so on. This is like a T, making a, a point into the space. This is a double wall uh, stopping the, the heavy wind coming from the sea, coming from the north. This is north, eh? this is south. South is the sun, and must be, we must be protected, but also we, we have to use it, because sometimes it could be very cool, very cold here. So we have this double wall as a, as a, as a wall stopping the, the wind. We have the, the house is basically this long rectangle, two floors, with some holes and some special things inside. And from this big piece, something emerged here, in order to cover something that is really important to the project, define an outside the space that is a court, a private court, but could be protected from the all, all, everything from the sun, from the wind, from everything. Here is a, a, a low element with the, with the kitchen. And of course, we see here one of the questions is the continuity from north to south, uh, north to south, from uh, uh, land to sea. It's a kind of continuity that on the other hand we wanted, we needed, because it's a, it's a, it's a temporary house, it's a house that is, is just for celebrating being there, you know, and, uh, for celebrating seeing uh, uh, the, the sea in, in, in a dark storm, in a, in a heavy storm, and things like that. So this kind 
of transparency and using the landscape as also as, a, as an image, as, a, as, an, as an entertainment, as a spectacle, it was also necessary to have this kind of open thing. But, uh, but usually in the old times uh, it was not uh, needed. Next. Houses, uh, uh, a section from the long uh, piece of a strange uh, possibilities, for instance, this is uh, the T section from the living room, trying to, to use the space as a chimney from the, from, in a natural way for having ventilation from the space, because we have a, a higher space here, this is relatively low, with uh, the sea here and the sun here, so this is acting as a chimney, so the, the warm air is moving up, and from here you open these windows and uh, disappear, it's, it's acting as a natural ventilation of the whole space. Here is a coating in the, in the floor, in the, in the space, it's another kind of a small, very small court, this is a, a, a steel open, open floor, this is a, 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 another kind of, of of, 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 of part of the house, I mean, this is the guest room. That's, they have a, a movable staircases. They have a small mini uh, court inside, but also that protect the house the inside from the direct sun. The sun is south here, and arrive, it never arrives uh, directly to the, to the to the center of the house. And from the other side, this is a longitudinal cross section. This is another section from the the other, let's say, pavilions. This is the kitchen, this is the, this element over the cool, this is the, the, the two walls making like a wall protecting to the sun, to the wind. Next. This is a little bit of plants, this is a small house, this is the living area, this is the, the double side uh, opening uh, on, the, on the wall. This is the, the kitchen, the court, and the bedrooms, and the, li and the bedroom from the guest. Next. This is a very normal and very small thing, and also <coughs> connected with this kind of heavy topography, the, the, the house in, in, in the shape, in the, uh, wanted to refer to the, to, the, to the geometry of the rocks that are present in a, in a more crystalline way, as a, crystallis as, as a crystallization of a, an eruptive uh, magma. Not with a, in a sedimentary way, uh, way, not in a more organic way, like in a, like this kind of uh, crystals, uh, uh, erupt er eruptive crist uh, crystals. So it's very cubic, and very, but it has some kind of, uh, I guess, I wanted at least a positive dialogue to the to the mountain so next and to the rocks. The house from the outside is something like that. This is the garden in the south. This is the connection to the, the, the court and the, and, the, and the entrance and the different elements, the big cantilever piece and, the, and this staircase that is moving up and down in relationship to the people using the, this part of the house. Next. And this is, these are several views on this kind of center of the house that is the, the, the private and the, the, the the garden and the court, the court with all the possibilities for having for being protected from the, the sun and also the transparency from the inside to the outside and to the sea versus the sea. This is the, the, the staircase going up uh, in, a very, in a very minimalistic way, in a very obvious way, just being very reduced, you know, not avoided, avoided having any, any, any disturb to the, to the view. Even the hand trailing is supported into another uh, portions, it's not supported in a vertical way for that doing for that reason. Next. <coughs> Some other visions from the from the from the court, uh, from the court uh, in another in the other direction. The kitchen is something floating in between the space. Also in order to, to be to all of this continuity in north south. Hmm? Next. <coughs> In the, the living room is this kind of empty and, and long space, having this kind of, uh, of direction, but also having the vertical expansion in this point, so for this, in relationship to the movement of the stair, and also for the movement of the air, and uh, trying to, to get the, the fresh air in a natural way into the center of the house. Next. There are some other visions explaining that, this cubistical form, this transparency, and even some kind of 
maybe positive dialogue with another house. It is a very, a very small and vernacular house next to this house. So the, the, the new house is floating over the other one. So it's, it's making a kind of, I guess, a positive uh, relationship in something that is really connected to the earth and really heavy and uh, normal with the stones and so on. And this is more floating. And in, in, uh, with the two, they make a, a complete figure in a way. You know? It's a kind of dialogue between both. Next. These are several moments from the, this is the small court uh, for the guest in the guest area with the uh, move uh, stair and this kind of uh, pedestrian uh, steel area. This is all the space that is protecting from the sun and it allows to, to the guest uh, going out and entering. Next. Next, next. And also when we move, we move around the house, <coughs> Several materials added to the to this kind of more cubistical things. Some for example, these fences using a, a local stone in a very very uh, style. So this house is not far away, from, not far from Africa. And this is a kind of, uh, of typical ways of uh, introducing elements to control the sun in the in the very very in the very very in the primitive uh, in the vernacular language. So it has this kind of other materials trying to adapt the, this kind of puristical geometry to the, to, uh, to the site and to, and, and, and to the views. Next. And then if the house is very puristical, it's very, let's say, uh, prismatical and so on, uh, after when we see the use of material, it's more divided into surfaces. This is uh, the, the surfaces of the different pavements. And the roof also, the different roofs, is just one continuity in this element, with a bathroom, a, a floating bathroom, and it has a kind of continuity of the material, but for the rest it's just surfaces that is, when, the, when the material is built it's using just the surface and not the whole volume. Next. The house in the in the south uh, in the north uh, side is 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 just is having just big glasses in order to really avoid the uh, control and uh, not having any problem with the wind and all the the, the ventilation and all the openings happen in the, in the, in a lateral in a lateral way and so for instance here we see a kind of complexity in, from the windows here in order to have protection on the sun, ventilation and sun, views and so on. But all the all the movements happening in, in, in a lateral way and the front front and the front is is just a big and heavy and continuous and not movable and not movable uh, glass. Next. The next project I'm going to explain now very quickly three other projects that now we are uh, designing. So there are <coughs> Now we are designing, and they are not built yet, but we are in a different uh, stadium from design. Uh, they all come from uh, after competitions that we will have won, and, uh, and now we are. This is uh, uh, now we are uh, dealing with them. Uh, these, the two first, are dealing with the three of them. They are dealing with uh, nature also and to the science also, of course, and to the context, and, but also to the, and to the nature. And they are dealing, especially the two, the, these two first, this, this one and the other one, with something where we can uh, call like uh, cultural context, uh, cultural landscape, not just the landscape in terms of uh, natural forces like wind, so on and so on, but something more um, depth, more uh, heavy that we can uh, name like uh, cultural uh, landscapes, cultural context. This is a project in the, in the, in Switzerland, in the Ticino. The, I, th I think that uh, this school has a, the C C C Arc has a school, a uh, uh, kind of uh, so uh, a place there also nearby the in Ticino. In the, this is in, in another place, it's in, it's in uh, between Ascona and Locarno. And this is for a very important uh, 
program uh, that is uh, for uh, building a, a congress, uh, a convention center, a small convention center, a big and luxurious uh, five stars hotel, and a small, uh, something like a spa or a sport and a, and a, and a healthcare uh, area. Um, so it was a, an important international competition that we won, and we are now starting to one part uh, is more or less ready. It's going to be supposed to be, supposed to, be to start construction in the next at the end of the next year. So uh, I said at the beginning that this kind of view of, of cultural landscape, of cultural context. And this is something that to me was absolutely fundamental to, to imagine and to think about this project. This is in a lake, in a lake of Ma Lake Maggiore, that is this one. And the Lake Maggiore and this, all this area, these are the lakes, this is Switzerland, uh, this area. Switzerland, the lake, this fantastic picture in a way. No? So it's a kind of uh, very uh, uh, white, uh, heavy mountains, the lakes, and so on. It's a kind of very organic, also, of course, a uh, few irregular one. So, and we are dealing, we are dealing here in a very basic place because uh, connected to something clearly connected to geography. So, this is Ticino and this area, this, this flat area where the people live, and the whole Ticino, the whole Ticino region, is the southern part of the Alps. The southern part of the Alps has been that uh, we are here in the level two, uh, plus 200, uh, above the sea level, the Mediterranean level, and we are here with uh, a sun, diet sun, so it's a, with a uh, very warm uh, microclimate, and confronted also to the, to the permanent ice from the uh, high mountains, 4,000 meters mountains. So there's a kind of magical position between being like in the tropics but also surrounded by the permanent ice so that uh, made to me the, the, the to me and to everybody is, is evident uh, a kind of f uh, fundamental uh, um, uh, part of the project next the, the people that organize the competition, the municipality of Ascona and the different uh, public uh, things, gave to us even this information that uh, explaining in another way this, this fact. Uh, so, uh, so, for instance, from the northern culture of Europe, I mean the German part of Europe, in a way in Germany, in Europe is divided basically into the southern countries and the German ones, in a way, and, and this kind of tension between north and south in the history has been very, was very, very present in this area because, for instance, Goethe and many other, other people from that time, they came to the south, but in many cases this just stopped in the Ticino because it was a, a kind of representation of the south. It was, it was safe, it was unnecessary to to, to, to be confronted to a long and dangerous uh, trip so they can stay there. Uh, it's a kind of uh, representation in a small scale of, uh, of the Mediterranean. So that happened to get it as was many times there and just came to, to Naples uh, two times or three. But then basically he stayed uh, in this area. This is also uh, pictures there in the same very near from the Mount Plain plot. Uh, this kind of uh, theosophist and uh, this kind of movements uh, connected to the, to the uh, life outside, to the sun, things like that, uh, from uh, coming, people coming from the, from the north, from Germany, that the staff is there, are arrange a kind of uh, communities uh, celebrating the sun and the rocks, because they said the rocks there it had a magical uh, effect, etc. Next. Another question, less uh, historical and less uh, cultural, but uh, more and uh, more physical, was the the, the site. Plus, uh, we have the river, the river Mangia, arriving here. This is the lake. This river is transformed. This is an organic way, of course, moving in a free way, making a move. This kind of uh, more organic geometry and arriving and man-made, uh, they, they, they transform into a line because they, 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 they uh, avoid having water everywhere in a way. No? 
they say they transform into a clear line and clear river. So this kind of delta, of course, the land coming from the mountains, and the site was a very nice uh, land. It's a long line coming from this river arriving into a big golf uh, courses. So establishing a, a fantastic open field coming from here arriving to the, to the water. So, uh, in this sense, it was clear that the, the best solution uh, that happens many times, or it was not so easy how to build there. I mean, how to put something in between here, to block this kind of continuity, to block this kind of organic emptiness, uh, to destroy the, the empty space was uh, not a clear answer uh, um, uh, at all. Because, in fact, in a, in a geographical way, it was absolutely nice to have this continuity to avoid coming from the river and arriving, arriving to the lake also towards this space. This was formerly uh, an airport, a, a, a small plains airport, and this, uh, so this line, this kind of line. And there were some presences into this line that were absolutely fundamental also to me for the project. That they were the big trees. So we have the enormous trees, Next to the to the to the land, to the field to the to the to the airport, this you see this is a house. This is this is a house, and this is the trees. So this is, the trees are really like like uh, skyscrapers and like like um, buildings. Huh? In a way, uh, the the trees were the most heavy thing into the place, and uh, was to me were to me a clear indication on how to build into this area. Next. The, the, the project is, is, uh, is defined in this, uh, in this uh, uh, schematic way. One fundamental thing we, do, we have done is dividing the program in several buildings, not making one building, but making many. Uh, more specialized and in a smaller scale also. Uh, <coughs> and, and, uh, and doing that, trying to use, as I explained, the trees as a, as a guide for the, for the project. So here we had a big quantity of trees in this, making these two limits. So we propose to cover, to use, to continue the covering, covering this field, this area in between these two. And inside this new cover, arranging the Congress Center. In a way, it was also very logical because it's nearby the motorway here, uh, from Ascona to Locarno, and it could have a kind of um, direct uh, access and parking and so on, independent from the rest of the area. From here, we propose to establish a kind of continuity of empty spaces from here, from the motorway until the end, and building two big two buildings next to the threes in a heavy way and building like uh, bridges from one to the other trying to establish really this kind of continuity of empty spaces uh, and uh, having the possibility of, of, of continuing the void from, from the north to the south. This is a, a small building, it's like a diagram in parallel plans next to the threes, using the threes as another facade. It's a, a surface of glass, a surface of several surfaces, using the, the, the threes as another surface. In between, enormous park that we designed in a, in a surrealistic way, in an ironical also way. Next. Yes. <coughs> After the diamond, this, this is the, the first ideas connected to the Congress Center. It's just the roof. <coughs> In between the trees, next, next, next week. It's a more developed ver version of the without trees here, and uh, with trees uh, version on the roof. The roof is, is more developed now. This is uh, the, the version for uh, uh, having the permission from the municipality. It's a big, it's a heavy thing next to the motorway for our one theater and so on. This is the, the, the roof is more divided into things. It has also this triangular form, and the end is everything is another material, etc. It's, it's more developed, more divided into parts, more architectural, uh, more architectural done. Uh, and also, but uh, we're not going to see almost anything because it's just confronted to, you must even pass through the, the threes for entering into the, into the 
building. So you, you don't see the, the building from the outside, just this small facade here. Next. These are the more structural visions on the thing because we have been working on the structure and how to put the beams. The beams are inside here, the beams are outside, you know, it's having really an, an, an continuous uh, um, ceiling. And this is very more heavy uh, in relationship to the motorway in order to, to con control and protect the building from the noise, etc. Next. And from the rest, uh, we have this, uh, this is a fundamental schema, a scheme, uh, this is a motorway. We, we change the, the slope also uh, to protect from the noise. This is a field, just a field planted with, uh, I don't know the English word, but uh, some small flowers that become red, but they, they appear and disappear. They are not always like that. They appear in the springtime and disappear some, uh, some days later with some rocks here, and uh, this is the first garden, uh, uh, second is a kind of <coughs> mineral space, after there is the entrance, it's, this is covered, after there is a cook, open, etc., and at the end we have the big, and before we have the, the swimming pool, and after we have the big park, and between we have these two buildings, one is more, let's say, sculptural, but it's not, it's, it's, it's more, with a less defined form in, in relationship also to the threes and to the functions, but having a kind of uh, line even in order to dialogue to the river. It's, it's acting like, like this kind of uh, dam that the, the uh, uh, interventions that the, the men had, had made in, into, the, into the river a little bit later. Next. So this is the vision from the <coughs> From the big park, this is the end of the hotel with a garden. It's, it's a little bit kitsch. I wanted to be a little bit kitsch. I wanted to win the, the, the competition, I have to say. And, uh, 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 the first, and, 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 but also, I wanted to be uh, a little bit kitsch because, in order to be a little bit, uh, uh, let's say, as a, as a principle, eh? as an as a initial moment of the project. So, because the whole garden is like a tropical one no? with palm trees, orange trees, water all these kind of, of flowers into the water. The, 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 the hotel has, this is a two meters high wall, so you see what you are not seeing. And then you are confronting a kind of surrealist uh, uh, Eden's garden, surrounded also with this fundamental with this uh, mountain. Next. <coughs> the building, this, this was the, mass, the masses. Uh, here, this is not developed yet. This is not developed, it's just, now we have developed the other, the, the other the triangular part, but it's with these massive things. The other thing, this is really next to the threes, and here we have the the, the luxurious uh, suites, uh, the the most important suite the, and rooms. Next, and these rooms <coughs> are floating over the over the space. They have, each one has uh, an elevator, a uh, direct elevator and things like that. And they, they are just a space floating in between and balancing in between the, the snow and the mountains into the north and to the south, into the sun and to the lake and to the other side. So it's just a space with just a bed and, uh, and the two walls, one and the other. This is also a kind of a schematic diagram. Eh? This is just class. And I think like that. So this is uh, snow, ice, this is glass, everything. This is warm, this is uh, uh, wood. Uh, this, this is going to be transformed, but it's a way of thinking. You know? And this is just a space like, with, with nothing. And this is one thing for the, for the suites and the luxury suites. And the other is the, the, this big and heavy wall next to the threes. That in this kind of tension, uh, like uh, like um, terraces appear, like bridges going up, and being into the threes and having the opportunity of having another view from the from the rooms to the outside, and, and also to experience the fact that you are there, you are into the threes. Next, the second project in this sense is another competition we have won. This is going to start uh, building in the next. Uh, three months uh, in Germany. <coughs> and this is in, uh, for another subject that is also 
connected to what, uh, what I was saying, trying to say, uh, like uh, cultural geographies, uh, cultural contexts, uh, cultural uh, readings of, uh, of one situation. This is in a, in a city that uh, was named in the, in the Democratic Republic of Germany, I mean, in the, in the, in the former socialist uh, times, uh, Finnish, ended 10 years ago. It was named uh, Karl Marx City, Karl Marx Stadt, <coughs> and that was the, the the center of the of the. It was like Manchester. This uh, this uh, uh, worker cities were, were the the first uh, communist uh, uh, sections from the party were were made, and the first syndicates and these kind of things. And uh, it was heavy bombed uh, during the war because it was the, the place from the heavy industry, from the steel. It was the place where Audi car was made also and uh, many other things. And uh, it was bombed and almost dis absolutely destroyed the center. And uh, they have reconstructed, rebuilt in the post-war in a very, very intelligent way, in a fantastic way. It was, it was a place that the, 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 the the government tries to, to demonstrate that it was uh, better than the opposite. So it was a really uh, a good and very interesting intervention. Having things like, uh, this is a big building, uh, almost 300 meters long, with another perpendicular to another one. This was formerly the, the old center. No? This is a long building, another long building. And having almost also surrealistic things that I really enjoy. And, and uh, from there, this is, for instance, an enormous, enormous wall in bronze with uh, the first uh, walls of the Communist Party. So all the proletarian from all the countries, uh, etc. So this, uh, so in, in, in many languages, it's a big uh, wall like that. So you can imagine seven or eight uh, floors, and here in front of them, an enormous head in bronze also from uh, Karl Marx. So, like, like a mountain. So, of course, these this, uh, these things that I was really interested in, in this kind of architecture, modern architecture. But I have to say, it was absolutely in, in, impossible to continue this kind of thing. It was clear. So, this kind of making a, another modern project, it was absolutely impossible to imagine. Even if I am into this kind of I have a friendly connection to this kind of architecture. I was interested also in this kind of more massive things, but it was also very difficult to imagine, uh, to do something with that. And on the other hand, because you have to know that the problem on the, in this uh, city, I mean, in the former center, intellectual and uh, organic uh, point for the communist and for the old times uh, government, in the building here we had to build, to build was exactly the opposite. I mean the, the, the head center of the Bundesbank. I mean the, the German bank. I mean the symbolic moment of the capitalism, uh, uh, winning capitalism. So, um, so next one. <coughs> the project was also uh, uh, to be built into a park. And that was an, again, again, this kind of natural forces, uh, uh, natural landscape, these kind of things that appear in a clear way. Because in terms of architecture, in the, my uh, let's say references in terms of modernity were absolutely, you, you, uh, I could not use at all. There were absolutely no, nothing to, to say more in this sense. But, here, the place was really again surrounded by the big trees, I mean, this kind of northern uh, big trees. My place is here, in the, in next to the, in the perimeter, into, into this big park. The big uh, the park is, uh, has a very nice name, the uh, big teams of the fascist park, and uh, the building has to be uh, next. In this situation, uh, what uh, we must do <coughs> in this, uh, um, it was an intention and uh, invited competition with all the German uh, architects and just uh, me as a foreign architect. And uh, that makes also the situation more uh, difficult. 
And, uh, and the, the, to me, the most interesting uh, thing was to realize, uh, uh, be there, uh, that uh, in this city they had a fantastic, uh, because this city is a vast, vast, an industrial city with a big, let's say, quantity of materials, mines and, uh, and uh, steel and things, uh, primary materials. No? So, and they had a fantastic museum on paleontology. So, uh, the pa paleontology is this science, science that uh, examine, study the, the change from the organic world to the inorganic world. So, I mean, transformation, for instance, uh, to nature, to trees, into stones. So, this is uh, the advertisement of the museum. So, there are trees transformed into stones. So, they are, they are really stones. They are petrified stone, trees. This is a piece from the museum, it's a piece of this, this tree, cut that, that is like a, a really a tree, but it's, it's a stone. It's a, so this, this like a magical and, and, uh, operation, intervention and transforming from the, the organic world into the inorganic world, something, was something that I was thinking that uh, I thought it, I had to, to act in the same way. I had to do the same in the operation. I had to transform something organic into inorganic, into, into a heavy or light stone. Next. The building is, is, was thought exactly like this diagram. We are surrounded by trees. So we have a trees with, uh, with roots and uh, with something in between, a small, let's say, and something bigger at the end. And we made something a little bit, uh, in an interpretation of that. For instance, having a heavy roots is, of course, the money that is inside the, the earth. The big treasure, the big, it's not a normal bank, it's a bank from, uh, from dealing with enormous quantity of money, from distribution, the dist distribution money, is distributing money. Uh, also from uh, Czechia nearby the east, the east, etc. So we have in, into the earth, like a tresor, a hidden tresor, the money. That is an enormous world. In fact, we are going to start to start in, in summer just building the tresor that is going to be one year of time. So because it's really enormous and heavy and very complicated. This was a reason also a way of thinking that the, our, my friends, uh, of my clients, uh, the bankers, they really appreciate. So to be the money very protected, uh, it's a feeling of protection again, uh, having the, the money very well kept, something important to them. And after, uh, we have something that is a, a, a reverse vision of that, it's something bigger into the, into the ground and uh, becoming smaller into the top. And uh, it's a kind of reverse three, and uh, even making like a, a heavy rock, a continuous heavy rock, but with translucent portions. So the relationship to the outside is just given by this uh, really a monolithic thing. It's uh, the German culture, as you, many of you, maybe you know, is, is uh, especially in the German bankers, uh, is something that is, is, is not a joke, you know, you know, it's something really heavy and uh, strong. And, and, and I wanted to, to do something like that also, with some kind of lightness inside, uh, some kind of small movement or big movement. So we send the big elements in the facade, some made in the translucent stone, that the, and, and, and the, the windows somehow, and this is a big uh, entrance space and so on. Next, next. These are more um, develop, developments from the projects. So for instance, this, uh, these are the, the, the underground uh, um, tresor, this kind of underground piece. Uh, this is the above, this is transformed into a big beam, just uh, handed from two vertical moments. This is really like a big bridge. And uh, from this bridge, we handed up this floor. So we have a, a, a free floor into the ground floor, uh, hang it and the whole forces are, we're keeping the forces from here, from, the, from above. Uh, and, uh, and this is the foundation plan. This is very nice drawings made by the engineering. And the engineers, uh, that, uh, um, because the building also is symmetrical in plan, in section and in plan, in a way. No? And the forces are also symmetrical from the section. So you, you design a, a, a kind of parallel figure from the section into the plan. 
and even the reaction from the Earth in terms of pressures is similar. Okay. Next. And this is uh, the, the studies from the, the facade, from the materials. We have developed a pattern with a, with a company, a German company, trying to build, uh, to, to design a material for this kind of uh, translucent uh, facade in a, in a heavy climate, in a, in a very cold climate. So it's a kind of composite uh, material with many sheets of glass and many things. And, uh, and also inside there is a big element of a stone and so you could have you use the stone as a glass in a way really in a literary way you know? so you, you see this kind of uh, organic thing but it seems like if this organic movement from the stone that rem remembers to the, reminds to the, this kind of organic uh, pre, pre existence is like in a cage it's like in a prison surrounded by all this kind of new uh, sheets of uh, glass. Mm -hmm. This is a composite element. We have made. We have to make many, many experiences and so on. And at the end, is uh, fixed in order to to have this kind of uh, half uh, translucent or translucent and heavy, uh, but continuous material from the outside. Next. My last of these three series of uh, contextual uh, not housing things. It's ending with this writer, it's another competition we have won two months ago and now we are really starting, it's really very little developed. It's in Lille, in the center of the modernity, modernism from the 1980s, basically the 80s and early 90s. In the small portion that has been built, this is the shopping center from Jean Nouvel. The station, you, you know the maybe you know the plan from Oma Remkula. The station, these uh, towers, uh, Christian de Porson Park, another French architect in Basconi. It's, it's a very depressed space because the, the big megalomaniac project has ended not in a very good way, and, uh, in a, in, and it's, it's just a small portion of some kind of big and important gesture, but it's become a little bit uh, without a lot of life, I have to say, unfortunately. And they wanted to continue doing something with this figure, and they wanted to to do something here, to do something here. And we want, uh, this is another uh, project also from OMA, but not, but they're going to build now. This is a housing district here. It's a motorway here. And we propose to build a bridge, a garden, connecting the station and uh, the new project, and the housing project, and building into this border, into this line, in a, in a let's say, decompose in a special way, trying to, to dialogue to everything. So, for instance, making a kind of couple in between this tower and another small tower, then this kind of couple is in between one strong and the other. Uh, uh, weaker, like uh, Romeo and Juliet, uh, David, uh, Goliath, and this kind of thing. This is the this is Goliath, of course. We, we make a small, another small thing, uh, David, and this and, and uh, in between, after we make like a bridge, uh, low building, but absolutely open into the ground floor, trying to connect connect the space from the from the station to the other side uh, square, and after making another kind of head with a strange uh, form, trying to deal with the big garden here, the big space, trying to define also the square, and trying to make also, as a conceptual and formal item, uh, a project that is more based into the volumetrical uh, uh, shape than in the surfaces. These projects are all of them, they are just facades, and they are plants. This this and this, especially this and this, wanted to be um, three, three dimensional things. Next. This is the ground floor, the ground floor situation with uh, the with, uh, new garden over the motorway, uh, the station and the street and the big uh, bridge area and the big uh, floating area with the uh, offices, some offices here. And you can really connect from the, from the station to the to the housing, or even you notice the presence of the, of the cars, uh, of the world in the, in the underground. So because we try to use the cars and the world into the motorway as some kind of, of course, presence, uh, active presence into the public space. Next. 
Now we have started a series of three, again, three housing projects. Uh, one is two, uh, very quickly, uh, one is connected to strategies, material strategies. It's a very old project, a 10 years old project, but they just show to explain this idea of, of a strategy, but also a strategy connected, connected to mater materiality, material strategies. This is a project into a line, uh, also from a, a urban project from OMA, and I had to design one of the, it was a kind of connection between OMA and our work uh, by chance, but uh, from the last point on this one. This is one piece here, uh, inside the motorway, uh, former motorway, that uh, it was, at the end it was not built, and the land existed, it was a public land, and they decided to make this kind of housing uh, project. And this housing was named, the housing project was named a Housing Festival. And uh, the idea was very clear and very exciting, like always in uh, OMA. They divided in three zones, three areas. One area divided by the main roads. It's already existing this division in this line. This first portion is, uh, let's say, high-rise buildings high rise in a, in a very modest way, but uh, in high buildings. These are medium build buildings, and these are single houses, uh, I mean, very low, very low, medium, high, in a very typical Dutch way of thinking. So <clears throat> we uh, had uh, this medium size. Uh, it was north, here, south, and the, the project, something like that. The idea of the project on the housing was having <coughs> in the ground floor, a special housing for uh, all people, they named, and basically in the three other floors, having a corridor here, entering toward this corridor, and having this floor for the small pieces into the house, I mean bedrooms, bedrooms and closets and, and bathrooms and so on, eh? they are here. So from this floor you went up and you are confronted to a big, a huge space, that is the living room with some kind of facilities next to it, like the kitchen that is like a, like a closet and so on. So you have the small pieces and a big piece. And even out also you can move up another floor and you have a big terrace and of course uh, sun and so on and so on. The other is, is, is the same, a little bit less uh, attractive because we, the, the terrace is not so big like this one. But uh, well, uh, it has to be the, have the same thing as small pieces, big pieces, and a big, uh, huge, uh, big space. This was also, say, the functional, and the schematic, and in terms of functions and the spaces. Next. <coughs> but uh, what they say, trying to say, these are the, the plans. Huh? These are the big rooms, the big space with some uh, something movable here. So you can even, you, you could have the whole space here, and you have in the intermediate space the staircase and all the bathrooms and all these things and the bedrooms and so on. But I said I wanted to spend the the the, 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 strat the material strategy. That project was very complicated because the social housing in Holland that is uh, something absolutely terrible in terms of money, uh, even more than in Spain. <coughs> And, uh, and uh, at the end, uh, the only possibility for building this building was when I proposed this diagram in terms of construction. So we had a system of walls and a structure of walls parallel one to one, uh, to the other, equal, etc. Everything is prefabricated. So this is one factory come and make all these things. In a, in everything is equal. After a second factory comes and uh, will produce these um, red things that are the, the staircases uh, that are in a steel and glass and they could be made in another way. And the third factory comes when uh, we produce the facades that are made in an artificial boot, in a very plastic thing, in a very artificial thing, but that is produced with another thing. Without being so clear, the whole project uh, was absolutely uh, impossible to, to control and to build. So uh, after this diagram, the, the building, you would understand the facades and the whole thing. Next, next. So this is the, the facade uh, uh, third factory. So they were the panels, these prefabricated uh, 
artificial wood or plastic using that. In this sense, the most important fact was, of course, the dimension of the standard panel and the windows are like panels. You know, it was an idea of making an, even the color thing, it was an idea of making an uniform facade. So because each panel, the most important thing is the panel, not the window again. Or not, or not the relationship between window and wall. Is everything equal? So making this division, so even the windows are transformed into into a normal panel. So these are the fences. This is why this is transparent in this play in this game. Next, and the other facade was just the direct expression of this fact of the wall, the prefabricated wall, the other structure with, the, with everybody move up and the, the movement of uh, around the wall, the movement. Uh, going up to the corridor and going down to the to the cellar with the, with the, to the, to the bicycles. This is a concrete uh, in situ, and this is so you could manage also. And this is this something coming from another factory. And the, the facade is just the direct expression of the just position of these three elements, of these two elements, and uh, also in relationship to a wall and the movement as, a, as, an, as another fact happening around this wall. Next. This, the second moment uh, of these three uh, series now is connected to the density and to the uh, 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 all things. Uh, we are in, into this village nearby Barcelona. We had to build several housing into, the, into a street like that, the small street. So we had all these kind of things connected to the old and new, the houses. The, the, the old town, the new, the new architecture, and so on, eh? the, the, the density, etc. Next, <coughs> and the, the, the building is, is also housing uh, quite simple. Uh, has to, uh, in a technical and a conceptual way of thinking, is we continue the street. It was absolutely impossible to avoid. It's a normal house in between the others. It's, it was not very logical to me even to make something more different. So in a way the line is continuing, the whole thing is continuing, a kind of continuity, homogeneity, these kind of things, these kind of vulgar things happening to the vulgar city. And, uh, and, uh, but in this case, in the, in the old town, we wanted to do in, um, in, in terms of materiality something absolutely very special. We built this a ground floor with two floors more. So the two floors for housing we built into uh, in brick, structurally in brick. So these are uh, very nice plants with the walls, and we never do them like that anymore in the contemporary times. So it's a wall, another wall, another wall, the, the perpendicular, and so on. And in, into this pattern we put all the bedrooms here and the staircase, and in the in front of the street we managed to arrange the, 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 the living areas and the services even in a, in, a, in a more, let's say, open way. It's like an island here, you have the, you have the whole space. So you have these heavy walls, and in the ground floor we change the structure and we put a concrete structure, so the, and we change the pillars and so on, and the whole thing, the whole heavy stuff from the house is floating over the street. That's was absolutely important to me, even if the street has to be kept, the ground floor of the everything has to be changed, you know, like, like in the in the Lampedusa novel, you know, in Lampedusa, yeah. so for everything uh, must be kept, everything must change. You know? And uh, we wanted to change absolutely the, the, the things, uh, status quo at the level of the street, and keeping the, uh, a kind of global understanding of, the, of everything. Next, next. For doing that is, we have a wall, this uh, brick wall, painted brick wall, a stucco wall, with an addition of one layer of glass for, for making a, um, a, a balcony, another kind of balcony, another kind of balcony protection from the, from the kitchen that is very typical in, this, in, a, in, this, uh, in our culture. Next, we have this second layer, so, and the house is something like that, like a wall with a wall, continuous wall, with a certain uh, uh, things like the windows are moving a little bit in relationship to the movement of the whole thing. We have the second layer of the glass that is also moving around uh, over the wall, and the whole thing is hanging over the street, and we have a, we can offer to the city 
something more generous and more public space into the into the city level, into the city pedestrian level. Next. In the, in the ground floor, um, everything is uh, steel or glass, and so you can really be confronted from the outside of the house. You, you enter, you, you have the vision of the whole thing, you have a kind of perpendicular axis, that you're moving from here to the staircase, and you have a vertical axis that is this, this is a small curve having light, and this is a kind of hole into the earth having an artificial light into the night. So kind of, another kind of perpendicular axis, in relationship to the horizontal axis when you enter into the house. Next. The third project is a project, is, uh, the, these two are a little bit old. This is really finished uh, some months ago. <coughs> this is again uh, another housing project in a, in a dense part of the uh, city, social housing, I mean, housing in, uh, for not rich people. <coughs> and, uh, and in a expansion of the old town, that in a way tries to, that is very normal and very vulgar also in Europe, in many cases, that is I'm not, uh, I'm not in love, uh, let's say, with this kind of doing, but they try to repeat in a way the, the, the pattern of the old city with a block in a way, another block. So even for that, uh, and we had to design um, this, a portion of this block, this one, with a corner here. And uh, we propose to make, uh, in terms of urban pattern, no, urban, these are dense housing also, uh, several floors, a park into the, into the center of the block, and uh, shops into the ground floor. And we propose to change the idea of the corner on the block and just to build one block here in relationship to the parking garage that is underneath uh, the block and making and building something in the edge of the other building. So transforming the, the, the figure that is very close and, and close, uh, is close and heavy and close in, in a figure more open and making the corner the most important moment, the void, uh, instead of making the most important moment, the, 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 the massive. Uh, there are many architectures in the classical times that in this point of the corner is an expressive moment of the building. We try to make the most expressive moment of the, of the building the void in between them. Next, so this is the, a little bit the plant, uh, the underground garage that is very logical, very simple, uh, the three layers of cars, etc., movement and so on. And above we have all the emptiness here, here, and the housing that try to continue in a clear and, and regular way. The depths, these are bigger houses, um, uh, so more depth. The smaller houses, less depth. Uh, uh, the corner is changing the direction of the houses, and this is the new, the other houses uh, at the end of the other building. Next, uh, for th this is the, 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 the empty space, the empty space in between the, the two the two buildings, mm -hmm. between the two buildings with a ramp going down and so on. This is the corner. I mean, the, this kind of new corner, and. Uh, for the houses, next, next please. The housing, <coughs> another question connected to the housing is this relationship in between the individual and the, 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 and the collective. The collective uh, expression and the indi individuality of the each house. That is our null, maybe sometimes topical argument, but in, uh, in any case, an, a clear and existing uh, question on the table. These were some images from the 50s uh, when somebody tried to, to imagine a house, a mega house, uh, a block made by a single unitarian vernacular house. So it's a kind of vertical, uh, let's say, a vertical development of the in individual vernacular things. I had, of course, the, uh, almost the same thing when, because it's very simple, the project. It's just like, like, like doors into the facade. So, <coughs> so next, what uh, we try to do is something like that. We try to define uh, each house in an independent way. And then uh, they have the balcony, uh, a kind of sheet of glass that protects and uh, make uh, the, uh, the fences from the balcony. And uh, we decided with, uh, with, uh, with a painter, a very renowned uh, young painter in Barcelona, a 
kind of system, of course, trying to each define each facade uh, uh, independent, so making the, the facade the, the roof of the of the terrace and the facade. So these two colors were changing here. For instance, the bottom one was to in, invert. So this is the, the ceiling. This is the, the wall. And on the contrary. And here is, this is uh, connected, but there are the two different and so on. In a kind of some kind of logical and, uh, and uh, making a, but making a strong differences in between each house next, and also unifying them towards this kind of uh, of wall of glass that is uh, acting as a, as a fence from the from the balconies and from the small services and so on. And also making a kind of dialogue in between the old architecture in the in the side, uh, in the periphery, that are more connected to the earth, to this kingdom, than and to the uh, enclosure, and to the opening and to the light. We wanted to be, to be more light and open to the, to the outside, and this kind of architecture that are so typical from the housing project, from our housing project. The project we had to design also this uh, this. Uh, uh, level of the street with a kind of, uh, of uh, portico next, <coughs> and the portico was designed in relationship by making a kind of dialogue in between the the, the the concrete wall for the garage that is here. This is the pillar for the structure, and this is the meeting point that is celebrated and exposed to the outside. So the portico pillars are just celebrating the moment when the pillar is really connected to the wall. So the whole weight of the, of the house is in a very unstable way, this unstable way transformed into this wall. This is the wall connecting the underground, this is the pillar. So this, this celebration of the static meeting of forces was the idea to, to design something special uh, for the porticos in the ground floor area. Next. These are the entrances in, in a very reduced and uh, vulgar way and very primitive way. Next, <coughs> and these are the insides of the of the garden <coughs> and uh, inside of the court of the of the block. That is just earth and with some um, bunches, some trees, and some. Uh, this is the, these are lumps and lumps from uh, from from the big space. There are lights here. So the whole glass is going to, is transformed into a lump. This is protecting course for for the parking garage that is inside. Next, and the parking is uh, we continue painting uh, because uh, it was it's, it's very nice to, to paint. It's very it's easier than making heavy things. And, and uh, this is like a forest in a way also again with blue and uh, in the ceiling is a kind of uh, industrial forest with all the ducks and so on, these kind of industrial things that are so nice. Uh, and uh, with, uh, with the blue in the, in the ceiling and the pillars uh, were half in two colors of, of green, so you can have the vision in one direction when you move with your car in one way and in, in, in you see something. And when you move into the direction, you see another landscape. Next, I'm going to show the last project now. After this series of three <coughs> housing projects, I'm going to explain another project, and I'm going to stop with it. This is not, and I, this is not a housing project, but this is start. Uh, this project started with a, a kind of thinking around housing projects. This is another project we have now designing. Uh, we are starting designing. Uh, we must start construction in the next, at the end of the next year also. And this is the Convention Center of Barcelona. And, uh, the, the project started with, uh, with these two images. The, the, the project uh, lies in the place, in this place, confronted with two moments with two different settlements in the, in the recent past. In the 40s and 50s, people coming from the south of Spain, <coughs> they come to the city and they establish in a very unstable way into the city and they built up uh, a self-built in an autonomous way big portions of the city, like in many other countries, like in many other countries like here, maybe. So they built 
in this case, that's just 40 years or 50 years ago. It's a fantastic example of building on the sun, on the beach. It's like another layer. So you have the beach, we have a big housing project that is like a densification of the of the of the sun. No? It's like a, if when this if, if, if the sun has become uh, more heavy or more strong, no? it's like a small in a very organic way. No? These ideas for organicity and inorganicity uh, were in the project in, in, in the German project is it's also related to this to these two images. This is what's first is organic and natural organic world. No? This vernacular architecture without uh, geometry, without uh, this kind of uh, Cartesian uh, Cartesian tools coming from another kind of uh, mineral uh, field. This is more connected to life, in a way. It's more connected to death, somehow, and to architecture, also. <coughs> and it's clearly connected to death, also, as of Los said. <coughs> Uh, and, uh, and so we have this first, and we have uh, 10 years later, or 15 years later, this one. That this, this it was put not into the beach, but uh, here. <coughs> that is one of the clearest examples of, uh, of uh, housing blocks in a rational, in a neo miesian way, in a very nice way. It's, uh, it's, it's not a vulgar one, it's a very high level class in terms of design, eh? not in terms of uh, materiality, but in terms of design. So we, we are confronted to these two walls, the, again, this kind of in, in orga, uh, in or, inorganical, this kind of organical, this kind of uh, uh, Cartesian, this kind of non-geometry, no, no, no this kind of no geometry at all, let's say, no? this kind of uh, no design, uh, on, uh, no or, or special rules, clear rules. So, in this kind of uh, this confrontation, my plot is real here. And that's why it's a kind of uh, ghost images that uh, were just uh, based into my, is, they are based into my project, present into my, my project, like ghosts coming from the past that, uh, that uh, can uh, um, use the new project. No, habitat, uh, house the new projects. Next, please. My first proposals into, into the, this project were, were just built a kind of uh, mi mixing up the two things. So, something very, uh, very flat, uh, even with, with geometry, but very flat and very covering the whole thing. And from this kind of uh, um, continuous magmatical uh, uh, volume uh, things, appearing this new uh, geometrical, more geometrical, more uh, inorganic form. So, next, that was the, the first thing connected to the scale. In, in terms of, in a more real, real thing, this is the, this this quarter. I have to explain. The old housing is not existing anymore, as you can imagine. <coughs> And my project is here, this plot here, next to the motorway that is underneath, it's, it's not seen from, the, from the, the surface, and next to the sea, here they are going to put the new zoological garden. And my building is, is connected to, in other terms, also in other kind of energies. For instance, this is the diagonal, that is the most important line into the city, arriving into the sea. And, and, and not ending into the sea because, all, as you know, in the contemporary city, things not ending and not having even begin, but they just transforming. They are transforming forces, not uh, in, in, uh, initial and ending moments. So this is the, the diagonal not ending here, but it's transforming to another speed here. This is one, this other line here, and my building is just confronted to this new, new line. And the whole geometry is connected to this line, and uh, and, it's, and the beginning was is based into three areas. One area A is a more urban part. The area B with hotels, offices, and things like that. The area B is the main hall. In the area C, C are facilities from the convention center, and also 
a kind of intermediated moment from the inside and the outside that is going to be a garden uh, close connected to the sea. It's a kind of urban things, uh, a big main hall, kind of services and a kind of uh, transitional moment in between the bee and the, sea and, and the outside. Next. These are also these first models in, in a very reduces the scale. <coughs> explaining that this kind of urban thing, the big hole and something that could be more complex uh, into the into the area into the garden, next to the garden, and also with the, the, the wish of having a, a, a thinking in the main hall as a portion, covered portion from the outside. So it's a big um, square, a big square here, square, square, and we covered some portion and we had the, the opportunity of opening on both sides in a clear way, and this is just a kind of transition from this space to the, to the garden. From the outside, it's just a, a big roof going up to the square in the, in the main the main outside that is here. The main square is more a more service square. Next, this is the, the, this is a second more second more developed thing with uh, with the, the, because this is becoming like a tower. This this band is changing all the time because it's connected to the to the urban and economical uh, pressures here. Uh, this is the, the big hole, and this is the transitional moment with uh, some change into the roof and the whole thing. In fact, this part is changing for, by, by area. This area, we, we, we are now developing in a, at an urbanistic level. This is, we are developing in an engineering level, but we are developing with another engineering, another engineering uh, group because we're doing, let's say, uh, things are really different from one side to the other. Next, for instance, from the street level, we have like a big wall with big cantilever. Uh, this is one of hotel that we try to connect the, the street from the outside. And, and, and so we, this hotel has a big cantilever pieces in order to have light. This has transformed into another big piece also with more holes into it. And this is a heavy thing with uh, with, a, with brick and, and uh, the ground floor absolutely open to the, to the street. This is portion uh, from the from the street. And next, <coughs> a portion from the inside. <coughs> the inside is something like that. It's an enormous hall. And the problem the problem is designing three things. It's one is the roof. We want to have, in a very abstract way, <coughs> light and all the fluids. And having a half transparent, half translucent, uh, limits in order to be really floating into the space. And having just the, 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 the floor and the roof and a kind of the other two limits are more open uh, in, a, in a more translucent way. Next, this is going to be an enormous space. <coughs> These are uh, the, the, the joints in between. This is the main, the main big room uh, and this is the starting the, the, the models for um, designing this, uh, the other element, the other the, the element C. That had, it's a very complex one. He, this is a very complex moment. The, in fact, we have big spaces here. This is a 30 meters span. And in this 10 meters span, we have a lot of complexity with the small things like bathrooms, meeting rooms, uh, corridors, small cafeterias, I don't know, a, lot, a lot of enormous things. Everything here, we try to build in glass, also using the, the, the vertical elements like here as, as, a, as a course for, of glass. So having this kind of heavy and uh, uh, very heavy structure with uh, big beams with 30 meters span uh, as a uh, free, free space, and a very light intermediate moment in between the big hole and the, and the, and the other big rooms. Next. And, the, and from the rest, <coughs> the, the price is also dealing with this inorganic material, this inorganic geometry, these two axes, this uh, Cartesian world, uh, the garden, there's a garden inside, and the beams are like that. This is uh, a perpendicular one. This is the axis from, this is the axis from the structure. This is the action from the services. The services, all the air conditioning is, is going into the top, and they're going to use the big beams and so on. So it's a kind of 
Cartesian, uh, clear Cartesian point of view. Also, in relationship to the surfaces that are connected to gardens and to uh, some kind of outside uh, functions, like a, a small uh, golf courses here, a big uh, wooden uh, platform on the, on the square, mineral garden, uh, more green garden, etc. So we have this geometry, but also, and you might remember the, the first three slides, next, next. Anyway, we are confronted to a more complex <coughs> thing like if we have this is a heavy inorganic geometry from the city, this is an in, 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 in engineering big roof hmm? with surfaces, with, with functions, with colors. And this in, uh, other element is a more light and uh, organic thing. So this is a roof proposal for the roof for the restaurant, proposal for, for the facade. Because we are trying to, to to make like an like an organic basement for the whole inorganic scene that is in the rear. Next, for instance, I think it's all. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Different relationship in a way. The, 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 in the first case, uh, in, the, in the first, in the chronologically, that is the, the, the housing project, the red and white project. Uh, I just developed a kind of urbanistic scheme that was very clear and very nice in a way. I like. So it was a, a real. A real uh, Fun, not functional, but uh, strongly uh, uh, say, re reductive pattern in a way. No? So it's, this is low, this is high, this is medium. But this is in a way this kind of clear, clear uh, functionalistic approach that in a way is more than that. It's not just uh, you can see that in a, in a more also more exciting and uh, way. So and. Uh, and I saw in this way also. And I had to de develop in one case one of the possibilities on, on this scheme that in a way I like. Even if at the end the, 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 the global project was not very well done and it was not very exciting because it, it's a big uh, problem with this kind of uh, reductive ambitions. So you can have a very exciting intellectual approach but the result is a disaster. It's like a doctor, you can say, well, it's a big intervention, but the, the, the passion, death. So in a way, it's, it's a kind of a clear distance in between, uh, 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 between a, a, a clear scheme and the result that have been a little bit depressing, more depressing than expected. But in a way, I, I, I like very much the, the, the pattern of the, the, pattern of the, of the, of the thing. And the second is Lee. Lille, Lille is another case because this Lille, we could uh, be talking uh, hours around that, uh, and, uh, and uh, it's maybe it's not the case, especially here. I have to say that Ben Kulas, I appreciate as a friend, and I really appreciate a lot personally and, and also his work. But uh, to be as a small uh, result, as a small portion of bigger gesture, in a way. You know? So now it's, it has so, something great. Also, something, uh, uh, let's say, great uh, utopian, uh, megalomaniac also, 
but uh, in terms of uh, material life, it's a total, uh, the total depressing uh, situation. Also, uh, the whole, the whole. I had the, the, the feeling being there that was a little bit by chance. It's like being, like uh, even the people connected to a project. Not that it's still a role. It's not the same people, but even the director there and died. Second director died also. It's again really the, the bomb effect <laughs> to, to many to many people. So it's, I have the feeling the, being there. The, it's like the old people said uh, uh, said, uh, well, we uh, we have again another architect. So the architecture is still alive again <laughs> because it's, it's like being after the war, after the war in a in a in a place that the uh, the war they, they have lost the war. You say in the in the first project in the in the, the project that had the roofscapes, the rooftops. Here, yeah. Yeah. In the in the first project, in, way, no? in, the, in, the, in the Amsterdam project, in the with the water and so on, the marine water. I, the, the question is the, the technical aspects connected to that. Yes. To, 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 and then not making a, a, an Italian roof, but something more fragmented than one. Well, in a way, it, it was quite simple. I understand the, the, the question. It was quite simple, but the, the, because there were, a, it was a, a strong continuity in between all the technical aspects, especially for the structure. So it was the, the same system of walls that, in, in some cases, continues in a very nor normal, very uh, let's say easy way. It, it, it's not. It was not another structure added to the something, no? but it, it's really something. Very continuous from the, from the from the from the from from the pattern from the from the so in terms of the structure it was absolutely easy to, to move up uh, even because it was made by heavy uh, concrete walls without the steel so it's like uh, like like maybe six you know, six or forty or five or fifty centimeters so uh, they could work. Uh, uh, high compressions, uh, high high level of compression. So it, it doesn't matter one two floors more. So we have this system that in a in a very normal in a very easy way that you could continue uh, making up these uh, these floors. These, these uh, in some cases more housing. They, they are not another housing. It's the same house that uh, expand in some cases. And from the rest from the finishing is is a little bit more. No, it's, it's, it's just more the toilet in a way. No? It's, it's, you have more specialized, you have the roof in one way and the roof is changing somehow. It's a kind of more the tiling thing, but uh, without having uh, a more practical problems in a way. Eh? And, uh, especially because I have to say that was in, in Holland, and in Holland they can build uh, with a strong logic, and but making some kind of uh, adaptations in a way. It's not a rigid system. Even if they, they could manage and, and convert it to something that is not rigid in something that is uh, uh, convenient in terms of, uh, of uh, construction and in terms of uh, money. So it has some kind of compromise that is, uh, in a way, I think it's really, really positive. <coughs>
throughout all of your work, um, do you aspire to uh, reject uh, those those very specific conditions to kind of talk about um, a larger EU condition or a larger European condition? That's a really interesting question. That's a really interesting question. I have to say, um, I like the specific conditions, you know, in, in one hand, I have to say, I like the specific projects. I, I think architecture is a specific, in a way, in, in a way. Uh, it's something con connected to one moment, to one situation, to one, uh, even to one um, cultural moment, to one time. Uh, there, there, there are many, many reasons to think that architecture is something connected to something specific and not to something generic, in a way. That this would be one answer. On the other hand, I also know that I don't want to be contextualist. I don't want to depend on the, in a, in a, I don't want to be picturesque. I don't want to, to be just adapting from the outside. I, 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 there's some kind of ambition of being more abstract and more general, also that I will also, that is present into my work. But, uh, but I recognize this tension in between something, let's say, a specific, uh, that in a way is close connected to my point of view. It's not, not, it's not just connected to the history, because really, in a way, in Europe we have history, but you also have history. Everybody has history. You know, you know it's that kind of, it's, um, it's not really connected to, to history in, the, in terms of, of, of years old. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's also thinking in the project as a kind of dialogue in between some kind of uh, outside, on the outside as could be. Uh, I always try to, to have uh, reasons for doing something, you know, and reasons but outside me, not, not, not from me. I, I like to, to act in a, in a, I would like to act, uh, I would like theoretically, but I would like to act in a, in a free moment, in a free position, just being able to dialogue with something, with something to, to, to establish a kind of, to be, to be in, a, in a kind of um, tabula rasa, to zero the deal, the grace of all, the, the, uh, it's, 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 it's this situation that you you have nothing to say, you just re are reacting somehow, eh? and uh, in a way, all my pro I, I just try to, to understand things are acting into in, the, in relationship to that. I have to say, uh, in, in this moment, to me, it's very important because I have won many competitions doing that, because in many cases, architects don't think around, uh, don't see around them. So, for instance, in the, in the Ticino, in a situation where the landscape was so evident, uh, uh, landscape and the cultural landscape, the people there, people that had to commission us, that had to decide who was going to win. And uh, many important architects uh, appeared and they made unbelievable things without any sense at all, without <laughs> any sense. You, I don't want to say no, uh, names, but even was, uh, one of the competitors, the, the, the clients explained to us everything and uh, hours they give to us, this get uh, this get uh, pictures and so on. And there was some of them, uh, one, uh, I was with another one, uh, made by a series, and the other one arrived in a helicopter and disappeared in a heli helicopter five minutes later. So it was absolutely clear that he was not interested at all in trying to dialogue to this kind of uh, situation. It's what I'm trying to, uh, to explain to uh, this is also a discovery to me. This kind of, uh, to be in a zero point is not a discovery. It's, it has been a very typical position of me. Not being not, not, not exactly what I have to do. What, what, what uh, to do the, uh, uh, it's, it's something that uh, is clear to this kind of uh, question. Uh, but uh, the, the other question is, you, you must uh, listen to the other. It's something that uh, I discovered that is more and more important also. But on the other hand, I don't want to be, I, did, uh, I, I agree, I, uh, I would like not to be just a kind of uh, 
sponge, you know, the, the, this kind of floating thing that just absorbing, but not, not having not not, uh, not any uh, not any depth and not any rigidity, just yeah, something really, uh, mobile. And uh, I don't, I, I wouldn't want to be something like that. I, uh, but I don't understand uh, clearly the dilemma. Uh, I wonder if the result of the This is a, a clear question, also, because uh, my uh, my exposition has been all the time that is very typical for architects is just case to case, and without uh, being able to or not uh, having the, the, the intention of uh, trying to make a more abstract and collective uh, thinking in a way. What they can say in terms of housing uh, in a collective way. What they, what they try to do all the time with this housing is, is just in terms of housing. Eh? Just, just in terms of housing. It's a, this is a, that would be also. Awesome. 